Hawks. Welcome back, everybody, to the Oakland A's franchise here in MLB The Show 18. Here in the ALCS, it is game number four here in New York. So we'll show you what happened through games two and three. And then we'll start on game number four. And hopefully we can take an even more commanding lead in game number four. As you can see, right now we have a 2-1 lead. And you'll see that the Yankees ended up coming back to us right away. Ended up taking game number two in Oakland. As we took the uh, first game 5-3. And you can see here, 11 to 8 was the uh, final score, but you'll see they had eight runs in the eighth. So we had control of the game up three, actually tied at three going uh, after seven, but then they scored eight runs in the eighth inning and uh, pretty much take care of business. As you can see, AJ Puck had a decent start, but then the bullpen, uh, Yasmir Bati, Ryan Future, just absolutely fell apart. And the Yankees took game number two. As we headed into New York here, game number three. We made the switch, putting A.J. Puck into the rotation in Oakland so we could pitch to Grom in New York, and it worked out perfectly. We got a fantastic performance by Juan Soto. He hit two home runs, but uh, Jacob to Grom, who's only four innings, three hits. He went out with an injury, and then Daniel Mengden came in, but still the pitcher performance from each one, outstanding, only five hits allowed, seven strikeouts, and we ended up getting the game three victory in New York. As we now head in here to game number four, and obviously very important because if we can get a victory here in game number four, we are one victory away to heading to the World Series. The Yankees are bringing on Jacob Faria as the starter here. Just one appearance so far in the postseason, 2.25 ERA. So let's see if we can take advantage. Juan Soto has been just absolutely mashing the ball here in this ALCS. So let's see if he can continue it here. And he starts out the game with a walk, so we'll take that. So Juan Soto will move on to the first base. And now with one down, we'll bring up Jonathan Scope here in a 2-0 count, looking pretty good. He's going to rip this one right up the seam there, and that's going to be caught instantly by a Floreal there in center field. So that is two down here in the first. Good contact there by Scope, but right at the center fielder. So that'll bring up Xander Bogarts now. Still getting to try the chance to get to this first inning going, but he's just going to pop it up. Should be an easy play for the first baseman, Greg Bird, under it, and the Yankees are out of the first inning with nothing done. So we come on to a pitch here, Paul Blackburn. Remember when he had that one start, two and a third innings, did not look good there. Try to clinch, I believe that was game number three uh, in the ALDS. Could not get it done, so here he is in game number four trying to uh, get something done here as the first batter is just going to rip that one for a base hit. So not really a short leash for Paul Blackburn in this game. Just hopefully he can, you know, give us some consistent innings as the next batter up is going to rip that one for a base hit. So just like that, the Yankees start off with two straight hits. And they have first and second here with no down. And that brings up the power here. So here comes Aaron Judge, 1-0 count to him. He's going to hit this one over to Barreto. 5-4 to four to 3 double play. That is a huge double play, especially with Judge. He hit the three-run homer, two-run homer, I believe in game number one. And now here comes Stanton, you're still not out of it, but there we go, nice pitch by Blackburn. The curveball gets Stanton there. And now we head into the third inning now. So bring up Juan Soto once again, 1-0 count here to Soto, the pitch, and that's a hanging splitter. That one is crushed into center field. You really have to carry it to get it out of here, and it is gonna be out of here. So Juan Soto, another home run here in Yankee Stadium, had two in game three. Another one here in game four. He is just lighting up this Yankees team here in the ALCS as we take the early 1-0 lead. So we head to the bottom of the third. Blackburn pit not doing too bad here so far. Gets a ground ball there. That's going to be picked up by Olsen. He'll get the out there and we'll get out of the third inning. Still uh, no score on the board for the Yankees. So we head top four. And we have Jonathan Scope up, 1-0 count to him. Fari actually pitching pretty well as well. Just that one mistake to Soto as Scope is going to hit this one up the middle. Not really a lot of hits for us so far, anything really going. And even if it's anything, it's just hits like that, just singles, no real doubles or anything so far. So here comes Bogarts, and Bogarts is going to rip this one, and it's just going to be foul. Had a chance to hit that pitch, but could not get it. And now 0-2 count to Bogarts. He's going to hit this one. Greg Bird catches it perfectly. Tags out. Scope there. And, man, that, that's the end of that inning. So now we head to bottom four. And here comes Aaron Judge once again up with one on. 
Nobody out here, and he's going to hit a ground ball. And that's his scope over to Bogarts, and that's another double play for Aaron Judge. So he is having a bit of a rough game number four here. Two double plays. And now we head on to the six. So still a one nothing ball game. This is kind of like your classic postseason game. Both pitchers doing excellent. And then when you're getting fielding plays like that, there's not really a whole lot you can do. Floreal comes right in. Rob Scope there for out number three. And we head to bottom number six. So the Yankees trying to get something going. And that's going to work out perfectly. That's Greg Burr with a hit. That is going to be trouble uh, in the corner there. Up with his army and Terrace. He will get it in, but Bird will be there at second there with a double with no down here in the sixth. The Yankees trying to get a rally going, trying to get back into this ball game. So here comes Florial. He's had two excellent plays in the field, and he has one here at bat. This is way back. Can we get to it? And we cannot. It is gone. Two run home run is going to give the Yankees the lead here in the sixth inning. Just barely getting out of there in that short porch and right. And now the Yankees in prime position with their the strength in their bullpen. Can they hang on to this 2-1 victory here? But we still got to get out of the six. So Blackburn man on first. The speed is there, and that is a stolen base. So put another man in score position. And still nobody down here in the sixth. So 2-2 two -two count here to Kemp. He's going to hit this one, and that worked out perfectly, not allowing the man to advance over to third. So that is the first out here in the sixth inning. He'll have to stay at second base. And now with two down, that'll bring up Stanton. 0-2 count to Stanton, and he's going to ground this over to Matt Olson. So good job by Blackburn not allowing that man to score. Keeps us at a 2-1 game, and we head to the top of the seventh. As Jacob Faria is still in this ball game, and there's Jonathan. That's actually Xander Bogarts with a base hit. So trying to get something going with the heart of the order up. Matt Olson coming up next. And I think that is going to be it for Jacob Faria as they will go to the bullpens. Like I said, this is a strength for this Yankee team as they brought, bring in Tommy Canley there. You see no earned runs yet in this postseason and three appearances. He's looking pretty good. And now a 3-2 pitch here to Matt Olsen, and he'll get him swinging through the changeup. Olsen really upset about it. Can't believe he chased it. Now bring up Army Ontario's here, and he's going to rip this one, and that is going to be caught. Are you kidding me? The man of the game here so far, Floreal with a two-run homer and has made two diving catches. Makes one there, and now there's two down here in the seventh instead of first and uh, second with uh, no, with only one down. But the inning will extend. Nice base hit there. And uh, we have a chance here with Franklin Barreto coming to the plate to at least knock in this tie and run. 2-2 two -two count here to Barreto. Pitch, and that'll be ball number three. So working this to a 3-2 count. Narvaez on deck, and we'll send the runners on here. So they'll get a chance to run here. 3-2 pitch, and it's going to be a fastball blown right by Barreto for strike three, and the Yankees get out of the jam in the seventh, and this game remains tied. That uh, means 2-1 Yankees. Sorry about that. 2-1 with the Yankees the lead. So we head to the bottom of the seventh. Matt Carpenter is going to rip a base hit there, and that will give them first and second with no out. They're trying to extend their lead. And that'll be it for Paul Blackburn as we will go to the bullpen. Mark Leiter will come in just an inning and a third here so far in this postseason. But hopefully he can shut this down. And that is going to be a fly ball into right short fly ball. We'll get there. So that's out number one here. Just one out here in the seventh. Two on. This will bring up Greg Bird who hit that double earlier. 0-2 pitch to Bird. And he's going to hit a little dribbler there to third base. Barreto up with it trying to pull the double play. And we cannot. But at least we get the force at second. Now have first and third with two down here in the seventh and bring up Floreal, who has been absolutely the man of this game here so far. So 1-1 one, one pitch to Floreal. He gets a hold of this one. It is carrying, but Juan Soto is there for the catch. And we get out of the seventh. Uh, still remaining 2-1. to one. So now the Yankees go into that bullpen once again. Here comes a roll to Chapman in. So one down, 3-2 pitch to Juan Soto. He's going to rip this one. But Floreal is right there for out number two. So bring up Steven Biscotti here. Really hasn't done a whole lot in this ball game. 1-1 one, one pitch to him. He's going to rip this one. This one is back. It is deep, and it's going to be off the wall. So that should be two there for Biscotti. So a two-out double here in the eighth. And trying to get that tie and run in. We've had some opportunities here in the last few innings to get those tie and runs in, and we can just not 
take advantage. Just missing a home run, maybe by a foot there. So here comes Jonathan Scope. First pitch to Scope here from Chapman. And the pitch, and he's going to hit this one deep. It is carrying a little bit out the center, but Florian with that speed is going to run it down on the warning track. And that's out number three. So let's see what we can do. He has Mir Petit coming in. See if he can uh, hold this to a still a one-run lead going into ninth. And he'll get Aaron Judge there to fly that out. Little pop up the shortstop. He gets out number three. So here we go. Going to the ninth. Yankees bringing David Robertson, their closer. Three saves so far in this postseason. Has yet to allow a run in two and a two-thirds innings. So here we go. We'll start with Zandu Bogarts and hopefully... He can get something going here. So 2-1 count to Bogarts. The pitch. He's going to hit this one. Got a good uh, bat on it. That's going to be back. But guess what? Floreal is there once again for the out. So bring up Matt Olson now. With one down, 3-2 count here to Olson. And Robertson up with the pitch. And he leaves it up there. And Olson gets a hold of this one. Floreal's not going to get this one. That will be off the wall. Olson on his way to second. So we have the tying run here with one down in scoring position so we're going to pinch run bring in Marcus Simeon get the better speed just in case it's just a base hit Olsen definitely there's no way he can score from a base hit but I believe Simeon can so here's Lazario Armentarios chance to tie this ball game up or technically give us the lead with a two run shot and on the first pitch of the at bat he's just going to pop this one up to center field and that is out number two here so down to the last out here in game number four and that's going to bring up Jorge Mateo. Good game so far, two for three. Let's see if he can come away with another hit. It's so a 2-0 count to Mateo. He's going to pop this one up, kind of jammed him a little bit, and it's going to get down. I thought Florial was going to get it to end of the game. No, he cannot. It bloops in there. Marcus Simeon scores, and we're tied at two here in the top of the ninth. And now have a chance to maybe take the lead, but Franklin Barreto is going to just go chasing that change up. But we get the run. We've tied this ball game up here in the ninth. And let's head to the bottom of the ninth. They got some power. So here is Stanton to start off the ninth. Around this one off to Barreto. And that is going to be, oh, no, Marcus Simeon, who has come in for Olsen for pitch run. And he's not used to first base. And that is a E3. And hopefully that does not cost us here. So here comes Gary Sanchez. Pitch to him. And, man, that was kind of hung up there. Luckily fouled away. And that's going to bring up an 0-2 count to Sanchez. And he's looking. There we go. Strike three. Exactly what we needed here. And now bring up Matt Carpenter. So 2-2 two -two pitch here to Carpenter. And nice cutter there by Batid on the outside corner. He cannot get to it for out number two. And bring up Matt Duffy here. So far, 0 for 3 on the game. And now 1-1 one -one count here to Duffy. He hits this one down the line. And it is just foul. Woo. So now one, two count, and Petit says catch up to that one. Blows the fastball right by Duffy. And we head to extras here in game number four. So we head to the 10th inning now. And Steven Piscotti is going to get into one. That corner's short over there, but it's not enough. Not enough there. Aaron Judge gets it to end the top of the 10th. So we're going to bring in Ryan Butcher now. Obviously uh, struggled there in game number two, allowing six earned. And let's see if he can just get out of this here. And that's not a good start. That is ripped for a base hit. So the Yankees will start off this bottom of the 10th with a base hit. And uh, see if Butcher can just shut everything down. But here comes the man, Floreal. First pitch to him. He's going to lay down a bunt. But it's right to Simeon. And Simeon makes a great play, getting the force at second. We won't get the double play. But excellent play there by Simeon, not allowing them to advance the man to second. And now there's one down. So one, two pitch, see if he can get out of this inning. That's gonna be a ground ball, possible double play. Bogarts over to Scoop, he comes up with the throw, and we get a double play there. Excellent defense in the 10th, and now we head to the 11th. Man, what a game here in game number four. As Scope is going to lead off this 11th with a crush there. That's going to be off the wall. Scope trying to make his way to second. He slides in and he's in there safe. So we'll lead off double by Scope. And now we have a chance. So we're going to bring up Bogart. He's going to lay down a bunt here to advance them to third. And he lays down a nice bunt, but it's right to the first baseman. And Scope can't advance. So what a disaster there. 
Now bring up Marcus Simeon here. We need a base hit to maybe give us the lead. So 2-1 count to Simeon. And he's going to hit a little dribbler back to the pitcher. And they'll be up with it and get him. Scope now eventually goes to third. But still now there's two outs. So a fly ball is not going to matter. We need a base hit. So here's Army Ontario's. Can he get anything? And he rips that one right to shortstop. Out number three. And we can't take advantage of a leadoff double, so we head to bottom 11. Henderson, Henderson Alvarez coming in here, facing Aaron Judge with one down. One, two count to Judge, and a nice slider there. Get some swinging. And now, because they pinch ran for Stanton, they don't have Stanton in the power up, but it doesn't matter. That's the base hit down the line. Army and Terrace, he can't come up with it. Unbelievable. It gets all the way to the wall. He's up with it, luckily. He does not advance to third. It's a double when it shouldn't have been. And now with his speed, a base hit could win this. So here's Gary Sanchez. 0-1 count to him. And he's going to rip this one to scope. And we're out of the 11th. So we go to the 12th. Yankees bringing in Deli and Bailey and Tantes here. And here comes Jorge Mateo who tied it up in the ninth inning and he rips this one and it's going to be all out of the reach there he'll be on his way to second easily with a double so we start off the 12th here as we did the 11th a lead off double and have a chance and we're not going to bunt now that scared us away there so we're just going to try to uh, advance him in the regular way and it works out perfectly a wild pitch on a swing and a miss gets Mateo there over to third so 3-2 count here to Barreto he'll take the walk as the Yankees have the infield in, all we need is a fly ball. Omar Narvarez coming up here. Just a fly ball will do it. Pitch to Narvarez, and he hits this one. And Mateo, for some reason, went home. And what is going on over first base? And they're going to get a double play out of this. What just happened? Mateo, for some reason, went home when he probably should have stayed. And Barreto decided to go back to first. Probably not, not what knowing what's going on. What a blunder here in the 12th, as now we have two down and a slow man on first. What just happened? Unbelievable. So hopefully Juan Soto can get us out of this here, and it might just happen. This one's way back, and it's going to be off the wall. But because Narvaez has no speed, instead of maybe scoring there, he's stuck at third. But Soto at least extends this 12th here with a double. And that's going to bring up Steven Biscotti here. Just a one for five game. Had the double there last inning. Let's see what he can do. First pitch to Biscotti. And he hits this one deep. It is a short porch over there. He had one earlier. That wasn't enough. But this one is. See you later. Three run home run for Steven Biscotti. So teammates picking up each other. The blunder by Mateo and Barreto does not come out to be a huge thing as a three-run shot by Scotty gives us the lead. And now we head to the bottom of the 12th. Bring in Andrew Miller to get three outs here. So here's Carpenter. And he gets him looking on the changeup for out number one. And we're just two outs away from taking a three-to-one lead here in this series. So here's Duffy. One-two count to him. Change up as well. Sit down. And we're one out away now. And here comes Greg Bird, two for four in the ball game. One, two count to Bird, slider outside. And Andrew Miller strikes out the side. And somehow we come away with a victory, a huge victory here. And game number four. So the Yankees have always been kind of that troublesome team for the Oakland A's. And maybe you exercise a little bit of demons in that ball game. Coming back in the ninth. Excellent 12th, and now it's a 3-1 to one lead as we go into game number five. We got Sean Manaya, the Cy Young winner on the mound, to hopefully close this one out and go to the World Series. That's going to do it for this one. Unbelievable game. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. We will see you in the next one, and hopefully it's a clinching game to go to the World Series. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.